I do have a hot take this week, Nick. But you have a hot take. Before we jump into the hot take, I would just like to. I do, I do, I do. Um, but but before you play the jingle that I know you're dying to play, I want to just discuss a couple of things about your hot take last week. She flicks a red hot revelation off the tip of her toe. So last week, Nick, you rather brazenly suggested that um, is the view from the afternoon the best opening track to an album ever and then we kind of bottled it by the end because we realized that um changes is the first song on uh <laughs> david bowie album uh hunky dory um now i have rather embarrassingly for you compiled a list of songs that um uh, are regarded as some of the best opening tracks on albums ever okay well, before Bitter you do it maybe, maybe I'll, I'll maybe i'll revise it <laughs> as my favorite opening track on it <laughs> <laughs> save yourself from the inevitable embarrassment <laughs> oh, there's some good ones. Bittersweet Symphony by The Verve. Not Welcome the to the Jungle Verve by Guns N' Roses. So. Okay, okay, okay. There's going to be some that I know you can test that one, but there's some that you can't. Welcome to the Jungle, Guns N' Roses. Um, I Want to Be Adored, Stone Roses. Barbara O'Reilly by The Who, <laughs> which which interestingly blows my line that although I don't think it's the best opening track, I then went on to say that I think you can't find a better technical technically performed track that's going to knock this one out of the water and then Barbara O'Reilly by the who kind of takes that one out of out of the mix um uh, smells like teen spirit by nirvana <laughs> was an album up there and um, debaser by the pixies gimme shelter yeah, I, the rolling I love stones the fact, i mean you had <laughs> seven nation O'Reilly, army <laughs> seven seven nation army uh... thought you'd be all over that uh, we will rock you by Queen and Come Together by the Beatles is an album. <laughs> so um, I'm sure when uh, people will have something to say on that. Is this song and this album and everything about it the best way that a band has ever introduced themselves to the world? That's my question. With the whole, the way the track is, the way it's in the way, the way that you said don't believe the hype, the way that they shot the video in this in this way that you wouldn't expect. Um, you know, is is this the best to keep it away and a way a band that jumps on the scenes? And I know it's probably easy to say the Beatles at some point, but let's take the Beatles out of the equation because you know they, they were the first as well. Um, but um, you know, was there a, a band that has kind of come onto the scene in a, a better way than this? Well, I'll, what I'll do, I'll do what you did last week and I'll go along <laughs> and then I'll, I'll, just co- I'll just come back and tear you down on next week. Try it, mate, just foolproof, mate. I googled, I googled, try googling that sentence and getting a coherent answer out. It's very hard yeah. to do. <laughs> Good luck with the research, that's all I'll say. <laughs> I, 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 I do think, yeah, there's, there's a lot of merit in what you just said, though. It's not, I know this isn't the, the, the best way a band's come on the scene of a song, but it's the best way that. I think everything comes has come out has come onto the scene. I can't think of anything anyway. I would be glad to be proved wrong though. Um, too. Well, yeah, that's good of you. No, 